All right, we're back at the Indo Expo show, um, and joining me in the, I'd like to say studio, but I can't really say studio anymore because we're is in the uh, media room, is uh, Tate Dooley from uh, Key to Life. Can you tell us, Tate, uh, what is Key to Life? Key to Life is a company that is highly oriented in sustainability and protecting a non-contaminated future. The way that we do this is by representing dry, organic, and veganic nutrients, all pure powdered nutrients. So basically, uh, all of our purities are double of anything that you can find on the market, being the minerals themselves. We use no preservatives, no fillers, and no stabilizers because it's all powdered stuff. So it's not sitting with water on the shelf so there's nothing to stabilize. So ultimately in the end, it is a better way for people to buy nutrients and not water, and for hydro store owners to be able to ship nutrients and not water. Therefore, also saving money on shipping and handling, mm -hmm. and as well as reducing the carbon footprint of the average grocery store. So in order to use your nutrients, does that mean I add water before I put it to, into my um, my personal grow? Is that is that kind of the way it works? Or? or you can just add our nutrients to your water at your personal grow, whether it's into your reservoir that okay. feeds your plants or you know your drum that feeds them. We mm -hmm. actually offer a cyclone brewer that allows a compost tea to be brewed and this is actually a concentrate at that point for every one gallon of tea that you brew you can brew or dilute it to one or ten gallons of water or anywhere in between mm -hmm. so it allows you a really good way to save a lot of money do it the way that mother nature intended and as well as actually increase your yields and your quality um, all of the uh, Biggest yielding plants have been grown with compost tea, uh, such as a 27-pound carrot, wow. a 40-pound cucumber, That's crazy. an 80-pound head of lettuce and cabbage, and as well as a lot of other things that have just been absurdly huge with compost tea being grown. Wow. Um, so did you guys design this specifically for growing cannabis or is this just kind of a new avenue that you're entering into and you guys, because you're, you're mentioning 40 pound carrots and cucumbers. <laughs> so it sounds like you worked first on, you know, regular, you know, the normal garden. Um, <laughs> and is this kind of like a new foray for you? It kind of is. We also specialize in this industry and we want, we see that this industry is growing really rapidly. So we're kind of tailoring a lot of our products to this industry, but at the same time, making them easy enough to use and keeping them um, diversified to be able to use on every single crop out there. Sure. Our main goal is to be able to get this any plant A to Z, any mm -hmm. size or scale A to Z with any customer A to Z and make it easier for them to grow organically and correct. Wow. Now, are you guys based here in Colorado? Yeah, we definitely are. We're actually based like four blocks away from this show that oh, we're wow. at. Cool. We're on uh, 40th and Steel Street right now. So you have your own storefront that people can purchase your nutrients at? Uh, we have a storefront as well as a manufacturing facility, and we also work in tune with some of the Colorado grow stores here. Gotcha. Now, do you... And dispensaries. Uh, yeah, I was just going to add, that was my next question, actually. Are there dispensaries utilizing your product and finding that they have like a really good yield out of them? Um, can you mention any of the dispensaries that are using your product? Is that allowed or? Uh, sometimes it's a little tricky because, you know, a lot, it's just like cooking. A lot of people think that we are their secret ingredient. Right, right. I can't tell and, you my secret spice. Yeah, yeah I get it. I get it. <laughs> so we, we like to, and also we work with so many that we don't want to remain biased against one or the other because they're all doing a great job and right. we're just really happy to support this movement here sure. in Colorado and we don't want to stand behind one person, we want to stand behind the industry. But people are people buying your product across state lines here now? Uh, yeah, guys? we're actually we're cleared for nutrient uh, sales in California, Oregon, Washington, Michigan, most of the other medical states mm -hmm. and by January 1st we will have all 50 states and we will have an uh, organic materials review institute certification mm -hmm. for all 50 states as well so wow. that's an omri certification gotcha great now where can people uh <laughs> how can people find out more about you uh basically www.key2lifegarden.com as well as uh 
one eight eight or one eight five five my key to life which is eight five five six nine five three nine eight six great now on that website i'm assuming you people can see some testimonials of some of the people that have grown uh, with your product are they able to see some pictures of yields and stuff like that a little bit yeah. as of now we're actually keeping all of the cannabis stuff off of our web page sure, just sure. because it does complicate things right now and we want to be able to grow to okay. a corn grower without him being I like get hey it. what I are you it. doing <laughs> I, i'm pretty sure though if you can show that somebody's growing 40 pound carrot um, <laughs> 27 pound i'm carrot. sorry 27 pound carrot 40 pound cucumber 40-pound cucumber. It was actually a 43-pound cucumber. (laughs) That's going to make people go, well, wait a minute. What can I do with this with cannabis? So I mean, so I I don't think you have to show the yield of the actual cannabis plant to actually have people interested. And the way that we get those yields is by not only providing the most pure powdered foods, but also the most diverse or uh, specified microbial bacteria and fungi. So endomycorrhizae is very good for a cannabis plant because it is a woody plant. Mm -hmm. Woody plants take mycorrhizae. We we do not use any ectomycorrhizae in our stuff. Ectomycorrhizae is only for 5% of the plants out there being woody or redwood plants or like redwood trees Mm -hmm. or non-fruit bearing trees. So we use endomycorrhizae only. The and then as well as our bacillus compound is the same way. It is actually only nine species of bacillus. And what this does is basically weeds out the good employees from the bad ones and really allows the system to be able to operate at maximum potential. Wow. Now, you brought some goodies here. Are these, are these um, for just to kind of talk about here? What are these little, what are these guys? Uh, we got some adjustable measuring spoons. We got some catalogs. Uh, I got some samples for you. I got gotcha. some sample kits. It's always I, the fun stuff you get at the trade shows. What the is, other what's, samples. Uh, other samples. <laughs> got it. And, wow. uh, yeah, basically uh, the with those higher yields, too, the thing that I was going to say is with that microbial population and with the right foods, it stimulates a higher BRICS level. The BRICS level is the amount of carbohydrates mm-hmm. and glucose that your plant can intake. And what happens when you have a higher BRICS level is now you've taken the 40 to 60% of the energy that your plant spends on defending its immune system against pest and disease. And now you take that 40 to 60% of energy and you concentrate it on oils and fruit size and vigor. So it's a really good way to be able to also cut down on your pesticide use. That's our biggest thing in Colorado is we're seeing a lot of people that are using mm-hmm. pesticides and fungicides and bug bombs and all this type of stuff. Well, we're offering them a solution that they can not only increase their yields and increase their flavor, but also keep their pest and disease away. Wow. Well, that's awesome. So the website is www.keytolifegarden.com. And then, again, the phone number to reach these guys is 855-MY-KEY-TO-LIFE, otherwise, or 303-955-7838. Well, right on. Tate, thanks so much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Oh, what is it? We also have a couple more things. Oh, yeah, I talk about it. I'm sorry, about. man. Talk sorry, about it. Sorry, it's all sure. good. Um, we... Aside from nutrients okay. and biological inoculants, we also do compost tea brewers, okay. which basically turns every one gallon of compost tea into a thousand pounds of compost. Wow. So it's really effective stuff. It has a really high dissolved oxygen ratio of 98 to 99%. This is also going to allow even people not brewing teas to get more oxygen into their water, which makes it more effective for their plants, less uh-huh chance of root rot and pythium and things like that no i you know i'm gonna do it yourself on certain things but when it comes to growing i'm kind of a moron <laughs> um so like if i were to come to you guys and say okay i'm interested in doing all this stuff can you guys would you help like do you guys actually help set up grows with your systems in place or you kind of just kind of help work on those things for us yeah we also do consulting as well and then we also sell lights so between our nutrients our biological inoculants. We have a nutrient-rich perlite replacement as okay. well, which is a media conditioner, the compost tea brewer, and then the grow lights. We kind of offer a, the whole package for you to be able to grow easier and cheaper. Wow. 
So that's what we're aiming at is to be able to bring somebody in who's in your scenario who right. hasn't really grown indoors, especially right, right. where it's a little bit more high maintenance. It is, yeah. And uh, be able to give them all the right nutrients, give them a reservoir that gives them enough oxygen, and be able to apply this to their soil, and then their soil is happier, and at the same time give them a more full spectrum of lighting to be able to keep that nutrient and microbial population happy inside the root zone. So that's our, our uh, mission is to be able to just make it easier and cheaper for people who are in your scenario sure. who haven't grown a lot. Got it. Right on. What else? I mean, you guys have anything else that you haven't mentioned yet? Uh, basically, I just want to well, make sure we cover it all. Yeah, the induction lighting is a really big thing. Uh, basically, induction lighting is a way to be able to minimize your HVAC by about 50 to 80 percent. So does that use LEDs then to help with that? Or? It does not use LED. What an induction light is is actually one of the oldest lighting technologies. It was invented by Nikola Tesla in 1893. Yeah. And uh, the really cool thing about that is he actually perfected these to have a 100,000 hour bulb life. Wow. So 100,000 hours is actually 11 years of 24 right. seven and 22 years of 12 hours on a day or a bloom cycle. Wow. So, wow. you know, we're, and some people say, well, you're not going to, as a manufacturer, you're not going to make as much money on replacement bulbs. But the goal is to be sustainable. But the goal is to be sustainable. Right. I, I've got a kid I coming. You know, well, I don't want this stuff going to the landfill. And, and you are refreshing my memory on, on, on Nikola Tesla when it came to this lighting. I remember one of the things they said was, was like, well, if you last this long, you're not going to make any money off of it. Yep. And that was never his goal anyway, um, which is probably one of the reasons why, uh, you know, it mysteriously still mysteriously died until his product was all his sci studies were taken away. Um, so it, it, that's very interesting. I, and I, I commend you guys for actually saying let's let's step into this field and let's make something much more sustainable. Yeah. Um, and you know it isn't. You're right. I mean, yeah, it's about money, but it's about doing it the right way. Exactly. You know, and it's like it's about being sustainable first and foremost. So, so I really appreciate that, and I commend you guys for it. Thank you. Um, At the end of the day, we want to. I've made a little bit of money, but at the same time, I don't think about how much money I made at the end of the day. I think about the people that I helped out right. and the future that I helped to create. Right. See, so th that's important. That's our big. And this goal. is your company, correct? Hey? This is my company. Awesome. I'm the 100% owner and founder right and patenter of all this stuff. Awesome, awesome. Well, yeah. like I said, yeah. I mean, I commend you for doing this. Uh, again, it's www.ketolifegarden.com, um, and. What's we that? do have one last quick product. Sorry, we got a lot of stuff <laughs> no, here. It's okay. There's so it's much cool. stuff hidden in the pages That's of these cool. catalogs. Um, we have another product that we're very excited about yeah. that can actually benefit any type of grower, whether they're hydroponic, their soil, their cocoa. They use LEDs. They use HPS. They use induction lighting. They use synthetic nutrients or organic nutrients, whatever it may be. This is a product that can really benefit you. And what it is is our pre-charged char o -lite. And what it is is a nutrient-rich perlite replacement. So perlite is that white stuff that's inside of most soils, right. and it allows for aeration and for drainage. Well, at the same time, it's also made of fiberglass, so employees that are using it inside of dispensaries yeah, and stuff are breathing it in and sure. getting it into their skin and stuff. It's just really gross. So what we actually have is an alternative to that that is a carbon-based, nutrient-rich perlite replacement, like I said. And the way that we do this is we take, uh, it's actually a substance called biochar, and we take biochar and we pre-charge it with nutrients, which we have a specific method for doing, and we take our proprietary blends and we we pre-charge them into the nutrient. Well, what this does is it basically establishes like nutrient-rich little coral reefs waiting for the roots to hit them. So basically, um, it has a nine to one 
nutrient retention ratio. So over watering it nine times, it only loses one part of its nutrients. And that was water only. If you're watering it with nutrients, actually, it further increases its charge and allows for less nutrients to actually be used. Wow. The most awesome thing about this is it is because it is like carbon, mm -hmm. um, you know, charcoal filters in this cannabis industry help to filter smell out of the air. Well, what this does is it is actually an atmospheric carbon filter. So for it passes the CO2 through it and it sucks out contamination. Huh. So for every pound of biochar, charo light we make, we cleanse one pound of the atmosphere. Wow. It has been named by Purdue University as a global saving media conditioner and as well as it was the basis to the Mayan civilization's agricultural sustainability. Um, there was over 25 to 50 million Mayans in the Riviera at one point, and the way that they were able to operate a sustainable agricultural system was act in the jungle, which the jungle is actually topsoil depleted nutrients because of right. every plant growing for sure. so long. Um, basically what they would do is they would take dead trees and they would clip their uh, fruits off of their you know stocks and everything and they would burn them down into the field and they would re-enrich the ground with carbon well this carbon has this carbon rich layer of soil down in the Mayan Riviera has been dubbed terra preta and terra preta has about a thousand percent more nutrients and a thousand percent mi more microbial activity than the soil 10 feet away from it wow. so in Purdue University studies, it's increased the yields 250 to 350% in wheat, wow. or in tomatoes, and 800% on average yield increase in wheat. Wow. So they're getting wheat that was the size of uh, hot dog buns. Oh my God. Now, is this stuff being used on like a farm, like a, like a mass agricultural level as well for you guys? Or? It is now. Definitely it is. And as well as uh, people have been burning their crops back down in their fields for a long time. But this is actually giving validity to what they're actually doing. To that doing. practice. Because I've always seen that practice. I've heard of that. And I've always been like, okay, well, I'm assuming that it creates nutrients and everything. But now hearing what you're saying, you're taking much, I mean, Obviously, scientifically, <laughs> yes, it actually does do that. Yep. Um, wow. And it, uh, just the the way that the Mayans were able to sustain their agricultural civilization was proof in the pudding right there, too. Well, and, it, and it's really amazing. You bring up like a really good point in, in this discussion that you're, you know, uh, with the, with your Charlite products here is that like you know sometimes we think when we get all this technology that we're better than what some ancient civilizations were doing. And then all of a sudden we come full circle and go, well, wait a minute, they were doing these things for a reason. They might not have known the exact reasons, but now let's like take a look at it. And you guys are you know, showing the scientific proof of it. What's that? Or did they? Or did they? <laughs> or did they? Or were, was it the alien visitors that taught them all of this? Is that what you're trying to say? I think it was. It was. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's what's right up. On. Everybody's on the level. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome, man. All right. Well, is there anything else that we've missed that you guys do? Because you guys cover, kind of run the entire gamut as like a full service stop for uh, growing needs, don't you? Right. We definitely do. Well, there is one other thing that <laughs> I didn't. Always there's one always thing. one more thing. Uh, one thing that we do that's a lot different besides powdered organic, veganic nutrients mm -hmm. is in our blends, being like our vegetative blend or our blooming blend, mm -hmm. we leave all of the phosphorus out. The reason being the new contamination issues that are coming across, especially in medical and recreational dispensaries in Colorado, are limiting the uses of pesticides, mm -hmm, fungicides, mm -hmm. and as well as synthetic phosphates. Right. Synthetic phosphates are some of the stuff that's actually going back into the wastewater and causing unnecessary right. algae bloom that leads to more anaerobic bacteria and all that type of stuff, which ends up ruining our water supply and as well as the ground. Wow. So uh, we leave all the phosphates out of our veg and bloom blend because you do not always need as much of them as people may think. Right. But with that, you do still need some phosphorus. So we have a singular phosphorus booster that is organic as well. Mm. So you're able to take all the, phos the synthetic phosphates out of, you know, all 10 of your nutrients and 
be able to moderate your phosphorus level with one particular product for your whole nutrient regimen. Right. Wow. So that's one thing that we're really proud of, and that's helping us uh, with that contamination issue in the dispensaries and everything, helping them to be able to steer clear of that and use our products and not have to deal with, with uh, ruining the wastewater. Wow. Well, I, you know, like I said, I, I love it. sounds like you guys really have, you know, when you say you are really about sustainability, um, you really are from everything we you're saying are. here. You know, and that's awesome to hear that. Yeah. And uh, there needs to be more companies like yours out there. And, you know, I'd like to see more dispensaries support companies like yours in their nutrient purchasing. So let's get it. Let's support get it. Key to Life. Key to Life. <laughs> www.keylifegarden.com. Awesome. Um, Chris is already ordering some right now online. That's what he's doing on the phone right hey, now. That's what he's doing. We'll get it shipped out in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Thank you, well, David. Hey, Tate, you know, enjoy the rest of your time out here. Again, this is Tate Dooley. Thank you so much for coming on, uh, representing Key to Life. Um, if you guys want to hear more about it, check out keytolifegarden.com. And, uh, yeah, nice. we'll excited to hear more about you guys as you guys keep growing. Thank Thanks you, David, so and on. thank you, THC, as well. I appreciate right. it, and you guys have a good day as well. All right, excellent, man. We'll be back in just a moment with Nathan from Canapages. Have a good one.